absolutely is. Yeah. You know, coming back to it, it's like going to hang out with all your friends. You know, everyone is so nice here, and you, you get to see old friends, and really? they, they're not old friends, and you make new friends, you get to see them next year. It's just been such a wonderful, loving environment. I found I go up to people to say hi, and they run away and hang their heads. It's really weird. <laughs> But well, that happened to me too, Teddy. You've had a different experience. Well, it was so cool to get to be asked to host these awards. We're very lucky with the job that we have on Inner Space because we're first and foremost fans of all things sci-fi and genre. So to get to talk about it for your day job, we're, we're lucky bastards. Yeah, for anyone who isn't familiar, we host a little show on space called Inner Space. Yeah. We, we do talk about it. Thank you. We love talking about science fiction, but there's one thing that we love about Even more, and that's to sing about science fiction. We love singing about science fiction. Uh, it, yeah, it's, it's the greatest. And we're and easy, because we're, we're not allowed to do it on the air, no. for a number of very complicated reasons. Legal yeah. and the fact that we're terrible. We suck at singing. It's not very pleasant at all. We're possibly the worst singers on the planet, but when we got asked to host the Constellation Awards, we thought, cool, great hosts in the past, including Gavin Stevens and Leanna Kane and the Sock, we're going to get here tonight, but... We, said, we also saw a little personal opportunity when they asked us to host. Yes, and that was to make it uh, part of the contract that we do get to sing a song. Contractually right. obligated yeah. to let us sing. So we had a number of acrimonious emails back and forth with Andrew Drew and Dad at the end of the award. So difficult to work. Not a positive fellow at all. Uh, just, uh, so uh, so, so after a number of acrimonious emails back and forth, he agreed that he would let us sing. So we don't have Brody, so we're going to go grab her. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it can get worse. <laughs> um, cool. company, Are you impressed already? Oh, you like us. Okay, so we thought we'd, we'd write a little song in order to talk about some of the great nominees and presenters that we're going to have here tonight. Uh, so lower your standards, lower your expectations, <laughs> and get ready to have your pants rocked. I haven't played guitar since high school, so. and couldn't even play then. Could no, you? So. really good. This is going to be interesting. We have a little sound check. Can you hear the guitars out there? You can you hear? Yeah, you can hear the mics. You can? Check. Yes, you can. I can Who's hear. That? Dad, is that you? Um, so let's give this a shot. Should we start on G? Can you hear that? Oh, it's going to be a train wreck. We're very happy to host the show. We hope we do a good job. And that we don't blow. Right. But if we do, the night will still be great. Awesome presenters and nominees. On that, there's no debate. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm not going to debate that. No, they're all great. Yeah, that's great. Like yeah. you've got Gavin Stevens, Canada's funniest. We got Andrew Data, that guy's a real peach. Nicholas Rush from SGU. I think that guy's such a peach. How can you argue, argue that Kermit Noah is better than Rush? That's How ridiculous. How could you argue that Rush? Rush or he is a leech. He's took everything from the destiny, he gave nothing back. And Easy. Let's get back to the song. Welcome to the Consolation War. We bow down. Oh. We got Andrews from the listener, the guy with the greedy eyes. No, the other guy. Oh. Adam Baldwin, who's been known to get chucked out of a fine. We've got Kindler tapping and the Gillian from Sanctuary. Leanna Kay and the star. I hope he doesn't make fun of me. Oh, he will. He's intimidating. He probably will. Like, I don't want him to talk to me. Fighting for humanity, the cast of my time. Awesome young leader, our trip get down. That's Jan Fry from Atlantis and Firefly, the lovely jewel steady. Do you think if I ask her enough, she might uh, say yes to a date? No, I don't. Uh, uh, well, first of all, she's she's a married lady, like Paul said, not a chance. Yeah. And last, uh, she's a classy chick. <laughs> My co-host.
Deus que envia.